the all new Ford Ranger. There's a bit of confusion on this and I wanna set the record straight, make things really simple and clear so everyone understands what's going on with the Ford Ranger, the new and the old. You know, there's been this unveiling overseas. I wanna make it clear. If you go to a dealership now, don't be fooled and don't be fooled about when we are getting the brand new Ford Ranger and really cool Ford Ranger Raptor. So let's talk a little bit about specs. So here we go. Let's put the pedal to the metal. I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. And well, I'm here to help. So putting the pedal to the metal, let's just jump right in. Let's talk about the most important thing, the don't be fooled section right off the bat. Now, if you walk into a dealership and you currently order a Ranger, naturally, even if the dealership, the salesperson's not trying to fool you, they might think very well that all those cool new Ranger photos we've been seeing, that that's what they're ordering for you. And that just isn't the case. What you're gonna be ordering is the current model. So you're gonna be ordering a 10, 10 speed transmission, um, like on the F-150s, the Mustangs, the Super Duties, different sizes, but essentially the same transmission. Very reliable transmission. Super smooth, so I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking the current Ranger. And actually that transmission is so good, It's I've got it in my Mustang, I've got it in the Bronco, and the thing shifts very quickly. It's smooth, love the transmission, and it's gonna be carrying over into the new, mo new model. And currently, if you order one, you're gonna be ordering a 2.3 liter. Now, I call this don't be fooled because the dealership may very well, the salesperson in front of you may think very well that they're ordering you the new model. It's what we're seeing all over the internet. Even Gear Patrol said that when we are getting the next, they, they said the big question, uh, and I quote them here, the question is whether it will be for the 2023 or 2024 model year. So basically, Big enough journal, straight up saying, we don't know when we're getting the new Ranger. Well, I know, so I'm here to share that. We'll talk about engine specs in just a moment, old versus new, and all that good stuff, but let's make it really clear. You walk into that dealership, you order one, you are getting the current Ranger model, not the one you're seeing on the internet. Yes, the Australian market and the European market, they're getting it before us. We get to stick with I wouldn't call it plain Jane Ranger, but I definitely like the styling of the new Ranger. Now, when will we actually get this new Ranger that's style-wise between a Maverick and an F-150? Not just size-wise, style-wise. So you've got the squared off look, the sea lights in the front, awesome looking vehicle. But here's the thing. Sometime in early 2023, they're gonna announce you know, they're gonna unveil it and say, hey, this is the US market, Canadian market, Ford Ranger. We'll see officially what we're getting in regards to style. What I can tell you is it's gonna be almost identical to what's overseas right now. That new model they've unveiled in Australia, being built in Africa, it's gonna be essentially the same. Now we might not have all the same models, like we might not get their wild track version, but we're definitely getting a Raptor and that is very good news. And they're gonna open up order banks, likely the 2024 order banks. So your our new Ranger, the whole new model, the whole new design, that's gonna be as a 2024 model arriving in 2023. Likely summer or early fall should be when we get the first ones. Nothing official yet on that but I do believe that the 2023, the final current model year, is gonna be a bit of a short year, starting up in October uh, for those 23s, and we're gonna be, I think, probably being able to order them sometime around next May or June. Now, whether it is it gonna be a whole new reservation process, that has yet to be seen. This might actually be, when they unveil it, they might open it up to reservations. So who knows, maybe January, February, March, Often March makes a lot of sense, but anyways, sometime around there, we're gonna be possibly putting a reservation down at the unveiling. Ford may also decide to just allow us to go to the dealership once, 
order banks for that 2024 Ranger open up. I'm thinking probably June or July for an August or September arrival. I'm thinking and hoping, but we'll have to wait and see. What is confirmed is we will get a Ranger Raptor finally. So that's fantastic news now for the European market. That's giving out 284 horsepower as well as 360 pound feet of torque. But will it be that for our market? No, that's tuned down probably for their fuel emission regulations. Likely what we're gonna be getting is more around 392 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. So the Ford Ranger Raptor is gonna be a beast. Do expect it to be more expensive than the most expensive current, uh, current Ranger model that you can build. Um, Will it be, you know, six or 10,000 USD more? Uh, United, yeah, but we'll have to wait and see. So I'm mumbling on that one because I'm just not sure. Just because there's a certain price increase that exists already in, you know, the European Australian market doesn't mean that's going to carry over here. Might be a nice jump up. Ford knows we're truck crazy and we're quite possibly going to get basically 110 extra horsepower and a good amount of extra torque. Now your regular Ranger, if you're not a millionaire or if you don't spend your entire salary on vehicles like I do, that's okay. Don't expect to get any of the engine trims that you've seen unveiled out in Europe. What we are gonna get is another 2.3 liter. Good engine. I like it in the Bronco and in the Ranger, coming in at around 4,500 4, pounds, it's a potent power plant and it's a reliable power plant. So that is hunky dory with me that they still have the 2.3 liter. Towing should stay about the same. 10 speed transmission is still going to be there. Now, if you're thinking Raptor and you're thinking you want to pull, you know, 7,000 or 7,500 pounds what, or eight, whatever new towing, um, towing capabilities that they bring out, do expect the Raptor to have less. That's what it does in F-150 and that's because it is, you know, pretty extreme off-road suspension. It's made to be softer. It's made essentially to go up in the air and not completely bottom out when the wheels drop. And when you land, it's also made to not completely bottom out. So you've got a su suspension that's completely tuned for off-roading. Now we probably should expect to continue to have similar payload. So somewhere around 17, 1800 pounds, probably about seven to 8,000 pounds of towing. So I think there's only gonna be good news. I don't think anything is gonna decrease in regards to power. We'll still have that 10 speed, that's almost positive. But here's the big thing. I've been getting questions like, you know, when are we gonna get a plug-in or a hybrid Ranger? Well. Here are my thoughts on that. <laughs> I, I think it's not gonna be year one. And this is just, you know, this isn't insider information. This is just logic. It makes complete sense to not come out of the gate full speed. And here's why. The Maverick came out of the gate full speed, offering an EcoBoost and a hybrid. And it's a front wheel drive hybrid. They didn't even come out offering the all wheel drive hybrid or a plug-in hybrid. And as it is, this thing is unbelievably popular and the demand is much higher than the supply. And the supply is still pretty good. Ford is producing these vehicles. Some months, eight or 9,000, other months, four or 5,000, but they are producing a pretty decent number of Mavericks when you consider that, you know, Honda Ridgelines, they make what, about 30 to 40,000 per year. So Maverick, they're producing them. Now the Ranger, if they come out the gate with a hybrid or, a, you know, more than just a regular hybrid on top of that, a plug-in, you're gonna get, you're gonna go from high demand to insane demand. So I think they're gonna save that to refresh the model. So I'm thinking probably 2025, we'll get a hybrid, whether it's gonna be plug-in or you know, just a regular standard hybrid. I really do hope it's gonna be plug-in. And I think 2026 for the EV Ranger. And this is why. The EV Ranger, it only makes sense that they make it at Ford Blue Oval City. That's six square miles about 6,000 jobs over there. 
S-list is great, it's fantastic, it's gonna be in the United States. But they've already said that when it opens in 2025, they are building the F-150 Lightning. And they've also said that factory is for building the F-150 Lightning, recycling batteries, making batteries, and developing new products. However, there have been hints, uh, even from VW, which is partnering with Ford on an EV truck, high up, straight up said at VW, uh, said, you know, the plug-in Ranger, that basically to paraphrase, he said that the plug-in Ranger wasn't giving them the type of autonomy they had hoped for. And then just plugged like, hey, we'll fix that with an electric truck. <laughs> so definitely getting a plug-in Ranger. Maybe that'll come just before the EV, so 2025, 2026, that that factory for Blue Oval City, I'd say it's I, it's just a question of is it going to be 26, 27, or 2028 that they start making a second truck at that factory, which Jim Farley has mentioned and talked about and, and having another all-electric truck. And there's been talk about Blue Oval City making more than one electric vehicle. If they're already making a truck, why not make a second one? But why offer it right out the bat? Then again, Ford has had some surprises when it comes to unveiling electric trucks, as well as the Mach-E, uh, the F-150 Lightning. It got developed pretty quick, so it's not something that they were talking about for five or six years. You know, often it just, in a short period of time, went from a little bit of speculation to bam, here it is, drop your reservation. So they could do that with the Ranger. We'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, we'll have to make do with the 2.3 liter, good powertrain, fantastic transmission. The 2.3 liter is reliable. So I have no issues with it being in the next Ranger, but definitely a plug-in Ranger is something I'll wanna have my hands on. And an EV Ranger, that's just perfect sized for our family, you know, Marie, Winston, and I. So we're not a huge family at the moment. The Ranger will do the trick. It'll be nice seeing that coming in at a lower price than the F-150 Lightning. So stay tuned. We'll be covering all that information. And also stay tuned because we'll come out with Ford Mustang Intel. Of course, we've got our 2022 Mustang GT. And we already speculate that the sound clip that Ford has released, that's not our current five liter now are they gonna stay are they gonna move away from that recipe the five liter recipe which is very mustang most likely not are they gonna change the exhaust or some of the internals on the engine quite possibly ford's gonna go out with a bang uh, on this five liter because it's the last generation likely of the v8 so i definitely think they're going out with a bang already a 2022, really the transition from a 2017 GT to a 2018 GT, the sound was incredibly different and a whole lot better. I found my 2017, I've owned, you know, 15, 17, uh, EcoBoost 16, but anyways, my GTs, the 2017 and the 2015, I was a little disappointed in the sound, I had to modify the exhaust. The 18, I only put in an H pipe, so a light modification. And the 2022 with active exhaust sounds incredible, but I've been playing around with that exhaust in normal mode and also, you know, sport and race mode. And when it's all out open, it still doesn't sound as hot, fast revving and racy as the new, the sound clip that we've got. Now the fast RPM, I'm wondering, are they gonna throw an aluminum uh, drive shaft at us? Carbon fiber, definitely not because of cost, but will we have a lightweight drive shaft? Is that why it's revving so quick? I don't know what's going on with the sound, but it's something's gonna be modified. We're gonna get a nice surprise out of that five liter. So, or the mechanics attached to it, but I think the five liter is gonna get tweaked as it did in 2018. So stay, stay tuned. Do like and subscribe if you want to follow and not miss out on any Ford information or if you just want to help the channel out. And we have hit 10,000 subscribers. We've crossed that over, so we'll have to do uh, something for that. 
thank you so much for all the support and all the help and I'll continue to do my best to get the best information, the inside information to y'all. So thank you so much. In the meantime, I do wish you all more cars and more power. We're waiting on our vehicles. We're still waiting on our Maverick. No build date, even though we ordered last July, but things are what they are. So until next time, I do wish you a fantastic week. Take care.